Putting an end to the chase now. Damn it. Where's my... Albion confirms that the explosions seen in the skies over London were indeed an Albion drone project that was sabotaged by the DedSec insurgency. In an exclusive interview with GBB Radio 1, Albion founder and CEO Nigel Cass had this to say. Truth is, the supposed freedom fighters of DedSec have made London less free. That drone project was meant to replace Albion boots on the ground, let the city get back to normal, but now, I can't in good conscience stand my people down. That's not how I lead. Cass went on to implore listeners to treat any suspected DedSec operatives as terrorists and to immediately report them to Albion. What a load of shit. Fucking guy can spin a story, though. Playing the victim when he's the one we should all be afraid of. And it's working. Sorry, the too cheerful. Sad. Too sad? It's what he does. Scares the shit out of people, then swoops in and plays the hero. We've got to show them what he really is. So that's his weakness, his image. If we shatter that, he falls apart. A few of us had no that, actually. Backley, bring it up. This is Claire Waters, political dissident and podcaster, reported missing after teasing a salacious upcoming episode. Sadly, it never aired, so all we have is this. On the next episode of Buccaneer Radio, I'm chatting with someone from deep inside Nigel Cass's inner circle. He's promised me something that will expose Cass as the tyrant I know he is. This is gonna blow the roof right off White Tower. See you next week, pirates. Nigel would have spun that interview if it was spinnable. If he went off the waters for it, that tape's a smoking gun. We've got to have it. Claire was known to broadcast out of Freight One. You should begin searching there. Claire Waters appears to be an equal opportunity Albion is her target of choice, but she's railed against tech genius Sky Larson, SIRS, and Plan Kelly. Opinionated, isn't she? So maybe she doesn't need to work alone. We could use a voice like hers, and she could probably use some backing. She's been digging in Cass's shit for a while. If what she has isn't enough to squeeze his bollocks in a vice, then maybe she'll join you lot and help find something. What's good, Chief? I'm sorry for not being there IRL, but there's no way I'm coming out of my hidey hole. But I'll keep an encrypted connection open to your safe house. I was having a chat with your mate, Richard Malik. Just a former SIRS agent in a former Albion drone talking shop. Anyway, he pointed me to this audio recording. You should give it a listen. Could be something big. All right, let's hear it. And when you've got a moment, give Malik a smack across the chops for me, will you? Surprise, you twat. Between my work with 404 and tracking down Sky Larson's neural map nightmares, I thought I could do with a new workspace. I could do with your help as well. I just clocked a hit and run by a black cab. Happened a while ago. 
but the news ain't picking up on it. And the reason I should care? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because all of London's black cabs are driverless, run by AI. The journalist mentioned in that call seems to have run afoul of SIRS. And seeing as they've taken 1984 letters a dire warning and more as an instruction book, she may be in trouble. She needs our help. Agreed. Let's do it. I've marked her last known location on your map. You should hurry, though. It was dated recently enough that SIRS might not have caught up with her yet. Claire used to broadcast from somewhere around here. That's all I've got, I'm afraid. Bloody analog technology. She hasn't covered her tracks very well. Anyone she's pissed off might find her too. Let's move. Someone got to her. She wasn't careful enough. Damn, I hate when they win. Fuckers. I'd love to listen to you moan all day, but perhaps investigating her murder would be a better use of our time. You're right, Bagley. She fought to get the truth out. That's how we'll honour her. Let's have a look around. OK, well, this graffiti's a bit strange. Well off, I think. Claire did release several podcasts critical of Clan Kidney, which you'd think they'd be used for a criminal gang. They shouldn't expect flowers and thank you notes. Only they usually just get rid of people. They for sure don't advertise. They missed their tablet. Bagley, we need to get whatever we can off this thing. It's all they left. Slightly more than the usual security. Can't just barge past it. It'll take at least a polite cough and then excuse me. Give me a moment. Lots of people coming through here. Several individuals. Boots rather than shoes. One with a tread unique to a certain paramilitary supplier. I think it's from their autumn collection. And worn by Albion, no doubt. Tablet unlocked. 
Claire seems to have logged conversations on it. Okay, you've agreed to speak on the record. You are an intelligence technician at Albion and work closely with Nigel Cass, correct, Mr...? Just you. I can't believe I'm doing this. If they were to find out. I know. Only have to step outside to see how Albion treats people. What do you have for us? Proof that... <laughs> Proof that Nigel Cass was complicit in the bombings. What? But that's... Here, transfer it to this secure storage drive. How solid is this information? It's a recording of him talking to some... <laughs> you security, drop your weapons! You can't do this! Gather all our equipment and get it to the carousel. Do! No, Check that wall, then get rid of this body. She can stay here. <laughs> Gang vengeance is an horrible crime, ain't it? Fuck me. Cass sent a squad of his goons for Claire and that other bloke. That recording's got to be the real deal. Bastard knew about the bombings. Albion must have Claire's equipment then, along with the audio file evidence. Shit, this is the dirt we need to bury, Cass. That Albion dickhead said carousel, as in carousel plaza, right? Albion's propaganda library. Let's go. Cass is gonna pay for Claire and for everything else. Sounds like as good a place as any to start looking. Out of here. All units, I say again, all units, we have reports of a hostile in your area. Over. Received. Mobilizing now. Out. I've lost the target. Control, we're returning to HQ, over. evidence is here somewhere. Watch out, Albion security is thicker than whoever cleaned up that crime scene. And there's also a lot of them around. Needs more asses to kick. Seeing what they did back at Freight One, I'm ready to lay the boots. Yes, well, let's focus on finding Claire's equipment, shall we? Do I need to use this? What? That 
was Albion's automated propaganda hub you've thrown a spanner into. Ostensibly for broadcasting safety notifications to nearby optics, really all it does is bombard them with propaganda. Or rather, it did. Claire's equipment, including her secure storage drive, which shockingly appears not to have been tampered with, so the audio evidence is probably still intact.
Well, I know you're listening. Let's talk. We told you the Prime Minister would turn you down. Brits love to see private military contractors on foreign streets, but not their own. He's a fool! This whole city, this whole country's collapsing. The military's held together with duct tape. Police are running scared. Someone has to save the people, Nigel. Someone strong. <laughs> they do. But I've already worked it out. The ideal targets are the Toan Conference, Parliament, and King's College Hospital. I'll provide overseas tech teams for logistics, but you can source the bombs yourself. Non-negotiable. It cannot trace back to me. You're forgetting something. And I'll get you access to filament, as agreed. Now go away. Now scarper or they'll kill you for sure.